Wexford away uh, is, is as tough a game as, as you'll get anywhere in Ireland. Um, they, they've really, really surprised a few people last year with their championship run, you know, putting out the All-Ireland champions and Clare and, and beating Waterford too. You know, they're, they're a very, very good side. Um, and in saying that, we've always uh, had, you know, success against them at different times. And, uh, you know, last year they, they beat us by a point and it would be nice to, to turn, that, uh, turn that around this time around. Any away game that, that we have is going to be, at, you know, the, the smallest journey would be to Dublin. You know, which is three hours. So, so Wexford, you know, will be four, four and a half hours, and uh, you know that's. But these are the teams we want to be playing. So we we don't mind the travelling. You know, we just want to be uh, involved in the the, the top tier of hurling, and we 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 know that we have a panel that can compete, and uh, we just want to bring that to fruition. Division One B, the Alliance League, is as competitive uh, as as it's ever been, really. You know. With Waterford and Limerick, you know these are two really top top class teams. We seen how Wexford performed last year. Uh, the emergence of Andrew Moffley and and Leash are you know really chasing the pack there too. So uh, I don't think it could be any more competitive. I think uh, Andrew Hurlan is in a position, you know, that we need to take a, a step further this year. Um, we have had a quite a settled team now for for a couple of seasons, even though we're still extremely youthful. Uh, I think the, there's a maturity within the squad and a stability there that it's it's time to maybe move on from being competitive to, to starting to win more of our games. Mm -hmm.